was approved and promulgated under the military dictatorship of Augusto Pinochet, being ratified by the Chilean citizenry through a referendum on September 11, 1980, although being held under restrictions and without electoral registers. The constitutional text took effect, in a transitory regime, on March 11, 1981 and then entered into full force on March 11, 1990, with the transition of democracy. It was amended for the first time on 1989 and afterwards, on 1991, 1994, 1997, 1999, 2000, 2001, 2003, 2007, 2008, 2009. 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, and 2021, these last three with relation the current constituent process. On September 2005, under Ricardo Lagos' presidency, a large amendment of the Constitution was approved by parliamentarians, removing from the text some of its more anti-democratic dispositions coming from Pinochet's regime such as Senators for Life and Appointed Senators, as well as the Armed Forces Warranty on the Democratic Regime. Finally, soon after a series of popular protests on October 2019, on November 15, 2019, a political agreement between parties with parliamentary representation opened the call of a national referendum on the proposal of writing a new constitution and the mechanism to draft it. The plebiscite was held on October 25, 2020, resulting in the approval of drafting a new fundamental charter, as well, as choosing a constitutional convention fully elected through popular vote to fulfill this objective. The members of the convention were elected on May 2021, and the Assembly first met on July 4, 2021. Political Constitution of the Republic of Chile of 1980 According to the law professor Kamal Kayser Alist, the Constitution of 1980 has problems of legitimacy stemming from two facts. First, the Constitutional Commission was not representative of the political spectrum of Chile since its members had been hand-picked by the Pinochet dictatorship, and opponents of the regime had been deliberately excluded. Also, the Constitution's approval was achieved by the government in a controversial and tightly controlled referendum in 1980. Campaigning for the referendum was irregular, with the government calling people to vote positively on the reform, and also using radio and television commercial spots. While the opposition urging people to vote negatively were only able of doing small public demonstrations, without access to television time and limited radio access. There was no electoral role for this vote, given that the register had been burned during the dictatorship. There were multiple cases of double voting, with at least 3,000 CNI agents doing so. Despite controversy about its conception, it has been frequently modified since democracy was reinstated, with corresponding parliamentary approval. A document from September 13, 1973, showed that Jamie Guzman was by then already tasked by the Junta to study the creation of a new constitution. It has been argued the 1980 constitution was designed to favor the election of right-wing legislative majorities. Several rounds of constitutional amendments have been enacted since 1980 to correct this concern. Thanks for watching.